Welcome to Strength Training for Legs. My name is Eve Overland, celebrity personal trainer, and I'm excited to share this workout with you. Let's get started. For this workout, a light to medium set of dumbbells is optional. So to start off, we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna start with jumping jacks, a very popular warm up in three, two, and one. Here we go, 20 seconds of jumping jacks. Now I want you to start to get your legs moving and your blood flowing and your heart pumping, yes? Keep going, nice, big, strong arms. And we're gonna add a little bit of a flare into star jacks in four, three, two, one, 20 seconds, star jacks. You're adding a little bit more of a dynamic squat. 10 seconds here. And another option, if you wanna take it up even more, full star jack. It is up to you. Star jump, star jack. Keep going, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. We're gonna do a little split stance. I'm gonna bring my toe close to my heel, shoulders down and back, squat down and up. Now this is a progression for a one-legged squat. You have that little toe up as a kickstand, yeah? Seven seconds, gonna add a little pulse. You have six, five, four, beautiful. Sit way back in your heels, two and one, stay low. Now side to side hop for 20, staying low. So now you should feel a burn, yeah? Eight seconds, and we have the other side. Seven, yep, six, five, four, three, two, and one other side squat, down and up. I call it a split squat, but it's essentially, like I said, a progression for a single leg squat. You're just giving yourself a kickstand. Beautiful, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one time. Our next exercise is a little warm up with the back of your legs, your hamstrings. A body weight, good morning. Wide shoulders, karate chop at the hips, come down to 90 degrees, heels, drive through heels and stand. All the way down, all the way up. So I want you to recruit the motion through your heels, up your calves, your hamstrings, and finally your glutes. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. Nice, nice, nice. Good warm up we have front to back. Nice, we have five, four, beautiful. Three, two, and one, awesome. Remember that hip hinge for later. We're gonna use it. Now is the time to grab dumbbells, one or two. I'm gonna grab one, light to medium, because we're gonna work our legs in two different exercises. The combo is a side lunge to a narrow squat. We have 30 seconds. I'm going to the right, let's set it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Big side lunge, drive, and then a narrow squat. Same side, same side, we have 30 seconds. So you're going as low as you can go with good form. So remember that split squat, sitting back in one foot, putting most of the weight on one leg, that is what we're thinking about, even though we're keeping the other leg extended this time, yeah? A little bit of a progression. That's why warming up is really important before we get into the solid work. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put the dumbbell down. Touchdowns, here's your cardio interval. Touchdowns here and here. Jump and switch, 30 seconds. Or your option is tap and tap. You are working your program. Touchdown, beautiful. 10 more seconds. Yes, drive, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one, awesome work. Grab your dumbbell, we have the other side. So again, set it up nice and strong. Big step to the side, drive to your heel. Narrow squat, 30 seconds, other side, we got it. Keep breathing all the way through. Squeeze, stand, good posture, good range of motion, 10 seconds. Almost there, eight, seven, yes, yeah, six, drive, five, four, Three, two, one more squat, and one. Excellent work. Next exercise, remember that hip hinge? We're gonna do, I call them cherry pickers. So I'll show you what it looks like, shoulders down and back. We're gonna do that hip hinge down like a deadlift. We're gonna tap, and then tap back. 
It's not a huge range of motion, but cherry pick, cherry pick. It just feels a little bit more deeply in the hamstrings, but hinge at the waist, super flat back, tap, tap, and drive through your heels. Nice, you can have a soft knee bend, but I really want you to think about sinking your hips back. Tap, tap, 10 seconds. Getting this hamstring work, the back of your legs, your glutes. Five seconds, cherry pickers. Again, one or two dumbbells, but one does the job. Beautiful. You put your mind exactly in each rep. One more, let's do one more. Cherry picker, cherry picker, abs in and stand. Awesome work, hamstring work, glute work. So now we're gonna work a little bit more quad. So I want you to put your weight down and I will show you the combo. Lunge to a tighter lunge to a kick. It's kind of fun. We have 30 seconds. Here's what it looks like. You're gonna step back at a wide lunge, narrow lunge, and then kick up. Make sense? All right. Wide, narrow, and a kick. Three, two, one. Big step back with one leg wide. Now bring your foot in, right to a kick. One, two, kick. Your other hand can go wherever it needs to go, but I want you to feel nice and controlled with each rep. And that leg kick doesn't have to be high. It can be your, your range of motion. Beautiful. Let's do 10 more seconds. Wide, narrow, kick, you got it. Yeah, six, five, beautiful. Four, three, Two, one, hold it down. 30 seconds of a pivot lunge. We lunge, we center, we lunge, we center. 30 seconds, staying low. Here's your burnout. You're already burnt, right? Center, left, center. 15 seconds. We have one more side to do, but we got it. We are strong. 10, nine, pivot lunge. Eight, sumo, six, five, four, three, two, and one, shake it out. We have one more leg. Let's stay strong all the way through. Step back with the other leg and center and kick. Wide, narrow, kick, yes. Wide lunge, narrow lunge. Kick it up to your range of motion. Beautiful, big step back, narrow step. Abs engage, nice foundation, nice balance. We have it all. Five more seconds, beautiful. Four, work those legs. Three, work those legs. Two, last one, last one, wide, narrow, and kick. Awesome job. We have one more section of our leg series. We're gonna take it down to the floor and we're gonna do a reverse tabletop. So it looks like this. You're gonna put your butt up in the air, chamber your knee in. We have 20 seconds of push kicks. Ready, fingernails towards your backside. Nice, solid foundation. Here we go, push and kick in. So you're pushing your foot out like you're closing a drawer. It's not a soccer kick or a can-can. It's a push and chamber back your knee. Eight seconds, stay with me. Seven, six, five, four, three. Should feel it, two, one. Hold it at the top. Now just put your butt down and up. Single leg hip bridge from tabletop position. You should feel it in that hamstring. Your quads work in two, 10 seconds, all the way up, all the way down. Beautiful, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, almost there. Keep your butt up as high as you can. All I want you to do is leg raise, 20 seconds, this is it. Nice and strong, beautiful. Legs, quads, glutes, everything is working. I love this burnout. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, shake it out. Whew. Leg strength workout complete. Awesome job, see you on the next one.